Sup dudes cool here and in today's video we are back with some more Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm connections. We are in the history mode. We moving on to Shippuden finally today. We on chapter 3 arrival of the new age. So it looks like it's about to go through a lot of stuff. Y'all were seeing the little stuff that was flashing just now. Last time we tried to get Sasuke. Sasuke wasn't freaking having it. He left to be with Orochimaru because you know that boy's sus. But it don't matter. Let's jump on in here. And get it going. Renew Team Kakashi. All right, prologue. Let's get it. Two and a half years passed from the time Sasuke left the Hidden Leaf. Yep. Naruto grew stronger as Jiraiya's pupil, and Sakura studied medical ninjutsu under Tsunade. Yeah, yeah. That I mean that happened. <laughs> Now full-fledged ninja, they joined forces with Kakashi, their former captain. Yes, sir. Kakashi announced that he would test their abilities by having them undergo the same trials as in the past. Yup. Well, same rules as three years ago. Just take these bells from me. Okay, buddy. It's not gonna be the of freaking course, same. If you don't come at me aggressively, you'll never get the bells. I don't we know if you guys are hearing that insane. or just heard exactly that, but of. I think an airplane just yep. passed over we'll my house, so my bad. Oh shoot, they got the whole little cussing? Now then, let's begin. Oh yeah, in Storm 2 yeah. this was a boss fight. I guess. I'll have to mm. Oh shoot, bro. This in one shot. Let's freaking go. Go side Yeah, he got hit by that attack too. I'm gonna have to take these guys more seriously this time. I'm here. Bruh. What a scrub. What the there's no freaking way. There's no freaking way. Bro, he, he's spamming, bro. Bro, 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 soccer. Because Kakashi is about to freaking aggravate the life out of me. Then he just starts his running, bro. Oh, my. Yeah. Freaky, boy. Gosh, darn. He don't want to just... Yes, bro. Yes, get the man. Freaky Kakashi got it done, bro. Go, Saki. Oh, shoot. Okay, hopefully my buttons work. Hopefully my freaking buttons work. Okay. Yeah, pause, Naruto. I know I'm late, but pause, bro. What the freak are you on? That's you. Oh, he blocked that jump. Oh. Mm. Oh. oh. Yeah! <laughs> That's freaking crazy, bro. That was too close. Oh dang, they both substituted. Bro, this junk was... Oh, Sakura. Mm, he wasn't ready. Dang. Overpowered that boy. Oh, I remember this part of the fight, bro. Freaking Sakura. You had to make it bad on everybody, now did you? He's going to be electrocuting the floor and junk, bro. You're doing well. But can you do it again? <laughs> oh, bro. He's trying to kill us, bro. What the freak? I'm totally going to get those bells. Okay. Well, we got we have to use Sakura and he, she jumps up and she knocks him off. And then we go beat the freak out of Kakashi while we can. I re I remember this, bro. Don't let him run. No! Oh, bro. Not at all. Oh my gosh. I don't know how I got away with that, but I freaking did. No. No. Okay, we're all good. Oh, wait. That man did a water dragon. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where's it going? Okay. 
watch this. I, I, I did. I freaking did. Look at him being sneaky with the freaking water dragon, bro. I know y'all saw. Right? No, bro. No, bro. No, bro. No, bro. Really? Come on, bro. Nah, he cheating, bro. Get down. Get down here, boy. Get down here, boy. Oh, shoot. Okay. Go soccer. Go soccer. Go soccer. Yup. 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 Bro, the freaking combat on this game is so awesome, bro. Oh, oh. Nah. oh shoot. Okay, back to buttons. Back to buttons. Don't fail me now, controller. Oh. Oh, I almost pressed the wrong button. Let's go, another door. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Ah! No, it's doing it again. Bro, no, bro. Oh, oh, he dodging. Oh, nope, not that time. Let's freaking go. There we go. Oh, he's hit. Oh, let's go, another door. <laughs> Nine tails? Oh shoot! The boy's not playing. Is Kakashi cut like this, bro? Fall, fall off. Yep, give me them bills. Soccer, go grab them. Go freaking grab them. See, we didn't even get this last time. The secret factor, bro, because my controller wants to play stupid. They've really grown. Pause, bro. You can't say stuff like this, bro. <laughs> what the freak, bro? Hey, bro. Yes, sir. <laughs> we handled that. You too. Bro, I wish the fight was like that in the anime, bro. Like, this is why Storm was top of the line, bro. This is probably one of my favorite boss fights, like, ever. Right. This junk was so awesome, bro. The thousand years of death, bro, that junk was fire. Oh, let's see, let's see. <laughs> Maybe I'm even stronger than you now, Kakashi. Oh, freaks, no. Stop acting so conceited. <laughs> Anyway, you both passed the test, and you'll be going on the next mission with me. Yes, sir. They thereby demonstrated to Kakashi that they were no longer students, but rather qualified shinobi worthy of trust. Huh. And with that, Team Kakashi was formed. Yes, sir. Yeah, I think they played me on that initial A rank, but we, we ain't gonna worry about it, you know? Um, fire. Fire, bro. This fight was awesome, bro. 58%, yep. Fight was freaking Mwah, magnifique. Definitely the best fight of the series so far. Alright, Kaze Kage Gata. Gara had become the hidden sand village's fifth Kazekage. I want to do my best and become someone accepted by others. I can change the way I live my life. That's his quote. Gara's fight with Naruto during the destruction of the leaf had changed him dramatically. But then a member of the Akatsuki named Deidara attacked him. To suit their nefarious purposes, the Akatsuki planned to extract Kudama, Shukaku, and other tail beasts from the Jinjuriki such as Naruto and Gara. Gotta, gosh, no, I couldn't, I couldn't pick how I wanted to say it. Gara fought valiantly to protect the hidden sand village, but completely exhausted by Dator's fierce barrage of attacks, he was captured and taken away. Yeah, he did put up a good fight, bro. That was other another. That was also another cool boss battle in uh, Storm too. It was like back to back. Uh, I don't know. What is this? The rest of the Akatsuki. So I'm guessing we're not gonna do the boss battle. Let's see. <clears throat> Cause that was a pretty fire one too, bro. Like. I, you had to press buttons and stuff with Gar and all that. That was pretty f fire. God, it's pretty fuego. <laughs> Gara, who once competed ruthlessly at the Chunin exam and now served as the Kazakage, had been abducted by a member of the Akatsuki. Yup. 
The start to Shippuden was so heat, bro. Jump straight into that action, bro. The Akatsuki had a plan to extract the tailed beasts from the Jinchuriki, such as Naruto and Gara, to use them for their own nefarious purposes. It's crazy, bro, because I don't know how long Naruto was sitting out there after he fought Sasuke, bro, whenever he was a kid. If, uh, the, if any Akatsuki member was near, they could have had him right then and there, because he was just passed out, there was no one around. They could have grabbed him and went, bro. It's really crazy. Because even if Kakashi showed up, they already have him. Kakashi, like, he called, bro, but, like, even if he can fight with some of these dudes, they're going to run back to the base. They're going to make him chase, and then if they get too far, Kakashi cannot fight all of them, bro. And they engaged in battle in the forest. Oh, yeah. I remember I had a DS game. That was such an annoying fight. Understanding the agony Gara must have endured, Naruto erupted in a violent rage against the barbaric Akatsuki. Sir, Naruto was in heaven. Gara! <laughs> Bring it if you can. Dator is one of my favorite villains, bro. His, his little aesthetic and everything is just so cool to me, bro. I don't know. Okay, but at least they're like giving a little bit of effort with Naruto's voice now, bro. A little bit. It could be better, bro, but it's better than what was going on in the last two freaking uh, chapters, bro. <laughs> Freaking get it. So Kakashi. This is like the first time Kakashi was using Kamui and Junk. Cause I know I know so whenever we chakra dash at Data, we gotta always hold it. Uh do do like the enhanced chakra dash, because if we do not, he will definitely hit us with his freaking own um, birds. You see? I told you. Ugh. Sorry. Come on, Kakashi. Go. Really, bro? You're not hitting me with that, bro. Sorry to tell you. See, Data is OP, bro. He's a little spammy boy. Yes. All right, now come here. Where is this ultimate? Oh, is this my sang gun, bro? Bro. Boom. This used to be like one of my five favorite ultimates to do, bro. I felt like so powerful. I don't know if y'all like... I know it sounds, I know I sound like strange, bro, but I don't know if y'all played these storm games when they were coming out, bro. I remember whenever I was a kid, I'd be playing, jumping up and down, bro, like, oh my gosh, you don't understand how much I love the storm games, bro. And recovered Gara's body. There was no one, however, who could bring him back from death. Yeah, it was. You gotta give your life energy. Why Gara? Why is it always him? Bro, what do you mean all this? Like stuff like this didn't make sense to me in Naruto, bro. Naruto Uzumaki. Shut up! Wow. You say a ninja hadn't put that monster in Gara? None of this would have happened. Dang. I mean Naruto no best, Did bro. Did you ever consider what Gara thought? Did you ever even ask? Well, you see, we couldn't. He, he was a little boy, man. That's the best time to do the... Shut up! <laughs> Imagine. Who are you to decide that <clears throat> fate for someone else? Naruto wailed in grief. That's just because Naruto know it could have been him, bro. Moved by this display, Granny Chio, a prominent figure in the Hidden Sand, gave her own life to bring Gara back from the I don't know what Naruto is doing right here, bro. Was she like running out of she chakra and she needed some Naruto chakra? But she was only using her life energy? Naruto. Lady Chio entrusted the future to you and God. Bro, she entrusted the future to God, bro. Fitting a ninja. She was gonna die anyway, bro. Yeah. She old as free. the old man, the third Hokage. 
Recalling that the third Hokage had held the same sentiments, Naruto resolved to carry that hope forward. See the difference between her and the third Hokage is the third Hokage was like that squigger, bro. I'm not even about to lie. Even as old as he was, he could have put up a fight with the freaking the entire Akatsuki by himself. I'm I'm just saying, he wouldn't win, but like at the time he fought Orochimaru, he could have put up a fight, bro. Like, because though though the freaking um the the Akatsuki was not on the level of the first and second Okage. The problem, the reason that he had to use the Reaper Death Seal against freaking uh, Orochimaru was because he was fighting Orochimaru, who was like a top tier ninja. I mean, don't we're not gonna act like Orochimaru ain't like that. He was fighting Orochimaru, the first and second Hokage, who were the strongest people like ever in Naruto, and like until later on. But at that point, they were like the strongest people that had ever been a ninja. Like, I mean, so I mean, he kind of. It was back into a wall there, bro. But I think he, I think he was like, he was probably like top two, top three, like ninja, bro. I, I don't know. That was living at that point, bro. Man, I might be tripping, bro, but that's what I think. Cause he knew like every single jutsu created. He could do every freaking chakra in nature. He was like OP is free. But um, this one, this one's cool. I honestly didn't feel no type of way whenever I watched it. I knew people were gonna put the sad one, bro. I did not feel no type of way whenever I freaking watch this in the show, bro. I'm not gonna lie. But if Granny Chio didn't give her life for Gar, everything that they would have went through kind of would have been pointless, except for like them killing Sorcery, bro. Which they completely left out, by the way. Oh no, okay, here we go. They're about to, they're about to fix up the little holes that they missed. When Naruto was fighting Dator, Sakura took on another member of the Akatsuki named Saucer in a deadly struggle. Suffering from the Puppet Master, Sorcerer's poisonous attack, Sakura received assistance from Granny Chio, a prominent figure in the Hidden Sand. This allowed Sakura to gain the upper hand against her opponent. Sakura used the medical ninjutsu and prodigious strength she refined through two and a half years of training to successfully defeat Sorcerer. In his final moment, Sorcerer provided Sakura with some valuable intel as a reward for defeating him. He told her of an Akatsuki spy who infiltrated Orochimaru's group. But wasn't it Kabuto? Wasn't it Kabuto, bro? And it was just like he wasn't a spy. <laughs> oh wait, no, he was an Orochimaru spy. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. He was a spy for Orochimaru, bro. Basically, Naruto and his companions returned to the Hidden Leaf Village. Kakashi, exhausted from his fight with Data, are temporarily separated from the team. It's because he used Kamui like once or two times, bro, and he just couldn't take it at all, bro. Naruto and Sakura with Yamato taking on the role of captain in Kakashi's place. Ah, uh, bro. Goodness gracious. And a new member named Sai. I always hated Sai. I still, I never came around to liking Sai. Formed a new team, Kakashi, and headed for the Hidden Grass Village's Tenchi Bridge. Their mission was to restrain the Akatsuki spy. Although defeated by Sakura, Sasori had a meeting planned at the Tenchi Bridge with the spy who had infiltrated Orochimaru's group. Naruto and his companions lay on wait for the spy at the Tenchi Bridge, who turned out to be none other than Kabuto. Freaking weirdo. This was also another really good fight in uh, Storm 2. You fight Orochimaru, bro, like, it was just back to back to back to back, bro, like. The original Storm games, bro, were so freaking peak, bro. Like, the button matching stuff, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. That junk was, like, too good, bro. Kabuto was indeed the Akatsuki spot who emerged at the Tenchi Bridge. Yamato took on Sasori's appearance in an attempt to extract information from Kabuto. But Orochimaru appeared, making it abundantly clear that Kabuto had switched over to Orochimaru's side. A battle began, pitting the new team Kakashi against Orochimaru and Kabuto during the fight. Naruto stirred up the power of the Nine Tails. Bro, Naruto was so mad when he saw freaking Orochimaru. Although Naruto proved himself evenly matched with Orochimaru, the Nine Tails' incredible power ended up wounding Sakura. Oh yeah, he hit Sakura because he was losing his mind, bro. Like he was about to like he was about to freak up Orochimaru, but he was gonna kill himself and everybody else too, bro. He was gonna lose complete control. Yamato used the wood style jutsu to keep Naruto under control after admonishing him. Yamato decided to pursue Orochimaru and Kabuto who had now vanished from the Tenshi Bridge. Yeah, they, they got the freak out of there, bro. He hit Orochimaru like way, bro. He like slapped him, bro. 
he went at least like a hundred miles, bro, like into the forest. Then he jumped one jump and got wherever the freak he bro. Naruto was like going insane in this fight, bro. He was like losing his mind, bro. Time of reunion. With the information regarding Orochimaru that he had obtained during his fight with the Akatsuki, he set out for their hideout with his friends and Sai, a new member of Team Kakashi. Freaking Sai. There, Naruto was met by Sasuke, who had developed at an alarming rate under Orochimaru's training. Yep. For the first time since their clash in the final valley, the former teammates were reunited. Yep, they left out the part where Sai left and went with the Rochimaru right after Tenshi Bridge, but Sasuke, I found you. we're not gonna talk about it. I'm sick of you showing up all the time. See, bro, everybody else voice actor try, bro. Now let's listen to Naruto. Now I'll just oh, wait. cut you off completely. Dang. Okay. Wait. You notice how Naruto's not talking a lot in these cutscenes, bro? They started to realize, like, hey, bro, not the, the, whoever, the freaking voice actor tweaking, bro. I think, yep, I believe this is another I'm boss battle. No matter what. Okay, that sounded better. You won't be able to put a scratch on me. Dang. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Bro, he would have been hit as free. There is no way they could keep up with him, bro. This connection you share with Naruto and his friends, I want to see it for myself. Can this bond you share, I want to see it. Super weird out boy. Connection. Go. Let's go. All right, now come here, Sasuke. Yep, we're gonna play. You, you get it? All right, all right, all right. Cause you think it's freaking sweet, Sasuke? Let me show you something. Let me freaking show you something, bro. I call this the never-ending cut. Yeah, yeah. The game made me stop, bro. <laughs> oh shoot. We're going. We're going to jump over. It. Okay, we're going to jump to the left. We're going to X that. We're going to right that. We're going to left that. Oh my god. Um, we're gonna triangle circle that. Yes, sir, put up that wall. Hey, dead is free. <laughs> we're gonna pop through and punch you. I'm trying to try to suck. Oh my bro, I thought he was gonna block. Oh, bro, imagine you didn't punch that freaking hard, bro. <laughs> Man did like 60 backflips. Bro, cause he's crazy, bro. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Ken Carson, bro. Uh, ready for round two? Let's go. Let's go. Round two, Sasuke. I'm freaking, I'm freaking ready this time, boy. It really, it really should matter, Sasuke. Cause um, like, what the freak, bro? Oh yeah. He's so strange, bro. Bro, you can beat the freak out of Sasuke, bro. Man, he's like taking so much damage, bro. I remember the game, like, you could keep fighting. They, like, had a different way. Like, it's about to make me... See, I can't punch anymore. The other game, you could keep punching, but then it would, like, make y'all backflip away. Oh, shoot. That boy put that shotting down on... Oh! Oh! Okay, bro, I literally... Bro, I keep pressing the wrong button, bro. I hate how it pops up completely white at first. I can, like, barely even pay attention to the fight, bro. Oh, my gosh. I'm, like, looking just for buttons. Oh, my goodness. Whoa, bro! Pause! What is that? Did that wake you up? What the frick? Nah, bro. You're still a child. Bro, that that what what the freak was that pose, Naruto? Naruto, we need to do something. We need to do something, Naruto. <laughs> oh my god, what was that, bro? You just screamed at it. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! 
It's crazy how awesome Storm makes these fights, cause these, this was like not even a fight either, bro. Over. Oh shit. Let's go. Naruto! Bro, oh my god. Naruto's voice actor just fails to deliver every single time, bro. Ah! Ah! Oh my goodness. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Do it. Do it. I know that's what y'all doing. Yeah. Go on ahead. Told y'all. I know my stuff, bro. This is this man's sword. He would have died. Like, see, why why is that in the game, bro? That would have literally killed Sasuke. He had nine-tailed-ish power, then did a gigantic Rasengan and blew up like a piece of the build. Sasuke would have died, bro. Like, come on, man. <clears throat> even though it's not even close to what happened. Sasuke just Sasuke. jumped behind Naruto and like knocked him out or something. I don't even remember exactly what happened. They got away without even really fighting. Direction. Sasuke left with Orochimaru. Exactly, bro. They end up finding him outside though, I thought. Sasuke. What the freak? I couldn't stop him again. I Oh, did did he get put in a genjutsu right here? So that's the extent of your bond. <laughs> this dude's side, bro. No, it isn't. He was freaking tripping, bro. In that case, everything's fine. You can still bring Sasuke back. I didn't like Sai, bro. He was like acting cool, Thanks. but like not. I don't know, bro. He he was he was a strange guy, bro. Lamenting his inability to stop them, Naruto vowed to become stronger. But I didn't know that I do understand he couldn't really all the way understand feelings because of how he was raised. But like, come on, bro. This is like, what, like what what you got going on, man? Um, fire battle, bro. Another fire battle. I'm sure there's gonna be some sad ones, yeah. I I can see that. I can see that. Okay, next we got Akatsuki Invasion. We're getting towards the end here, guys. I think I got to read this one. Yep. The new team Kakashi returns to the Hidden Leaf Village. With painful memories of how ineffective he was against Sasuke at Orochimaru's hideout, Naruto decided to train under Kakashi to learn the mightiest ninjutsu. I remember this, bro. During this time, Hidan and Kakuzu of the Akatsuki had invaded the Hidden Leaf Village. The Joni Nasuma Sarutobi teamed up with his former student Shikamaru and the other ninjas to take on the Akatsuki members. I don't know how those two dudes survived. Asuma and his team fought a long arduous battle against Hidon who continued to rise again despite taking multiple vicious blows. Eventually Hidon met Asuma with the fatal strike. Yeah he got him in his blood jutsu bruh. Asuma passed on his last words to Shikamaru and quietly took his last breath. Bro Eno was trying so hard not to let him die bro. That joint was sad. Now that was a sad death bro. And what really made it sad was the voice acting and the way everybody, like all the characters were acting, bro. That was, sad. I didn't even care for Asuma like that, bro. But the, how sad they were, bro, that junk was heartbreaking. But I always wonder, like, if these Akatsuki dudes didn't invade, like, I wonder how strong Naruto would have gotten during this time, bro, if he was just kept on training. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, he got, he got more time to train after that and do more advanced stuff. Akatsuki on the hunt. <clears throat> With painful memories of his failure at Orochimaru's hideout, he decided to train under Kakashi. Bro, why are they doing this like this? Like, they say the same thing multiple times. They'll add, like, little points in, in some of them and not in the other at ones. Time, it's like, bro. the Akatsuki's movements intensified, targeting Jinchuriki in various lands. I almost... What the freak? Bro, some of these pictures are crazy, bro. Receiving reports that Akatsuki members had invaded the land of fire, the hidden leaf. I almost don't even want to like do the ones where I read them, bro. Rampage. Yep. 
R.I.P. R.I.P. However, the team struggled in its fight against the all but immortal member of the Akatsuki, known as Kakazu. Oh. And Naruto just comes and one shots him. <laughs> I was like, bro, just what? Completed training. Naruto rushed to their aid. And it was so strange. How was Kakashi there but not Naruto? Naruto Uzumaki. I didn't think you'd come for me. <laughs> you saved me some time. What did you say, nigga? Mm. Oh, they didn't want Naruto to go because he was the Jinjuriki, but Naruto was like. What's the point of being a ninja? Yada yada yada. And what's the point of being a jinjuriki? I got all this strength for a reason. Let me eat. Which I mean makes sense, bro. Which freaking makes sense. Alright, come here, boy. I think you're underestimating. Come here, boy. But now until we capture you. Come here, boy. Ah there you go. I don't know if this one will even do damage. What? I stopped his freaking chakra dash with his awakened state? That's freaking crazy, bro. Look at this little... What? I did. A, I literally did a grab and he did a Rasengan. Bro, if this dude don't freaking... St what is going on? Oh, I'm dead. Well, not dead, but you know, I fell on the ground. Kakazu, bro, if you don't stop... See, it's annoying because he has the freaking, um... The chakra... The, I mean, the awakening mode, so he has, like, some super armor almost, bro. And then he can just do stuff like that, bro. Like, ugh. Come here, you're taking this giant rock thing off again. Oh. I won't give up. I will not give up. Bro! If he back up again. This guy, bro. Come on, Naruto. Bro. I'm the, I'm bro. I'm hitting you, bro. I'm gonna hit you. I'm getting like an A now because of how long bro. This this guy cannot be serious, bro. Yeah. Charged up in your face, boy. Get the freak out of here, man. Gosh darn, bro. Yeah, I got an A. It's just because of how much time I took, bro. But that's this dude just running the whole time. Whoa. Hit it. Yeah, that boy was done. He was done though. And so Naruto bested a mighty foe who had once been considered unbeatable. Yeah, he like fought the first Hokage or something. I don't think he won, but he just fought him or something. I don't know, bro. <laughs> This, that was like his big Akashi story. Could see that the youth were ushering in the winds of change. Yes, sir. Naruto was here to become the Hokage, bro. He set out a goal, and Naruto he's here to reach that strong. goal. Truly strong. He's practically surpassed me. Dang. Can you sense it? The fourth? You're talking to the fourth? You're always in his mind, inspiring him. You make him strong. You do know that. Well, that's so... I don't even know. I don't even have words for that, bro. This little this little thought of Sasuke during Naruto's moment. I don't know. I, I don't have words for it, bro. <clears throat> I think I deserved an S. I'm just saying. Kagazu deserves a, like, E. All right, A, B, C, D, E, F. He deserves a freaking G, bro. Like, what the freak, bro? Anyway, um, let's do, let's do shock, like, oh my gosh, this power, bruh, I'm like the only person in the world that put shock, what, that's crazy, um, let's continue, okay, we are at the end here, Okay, it jumps straight. Okay, because this is the question. And then we'll have the um the last little thing for me to read for y'all. After going through chapter three, arrival of the new age, you found a page about ninja power. Power? Okay, would you rather have the power to commit revenge or the power to form bonds? 
The power to eliminate enemies that stand in your way. The power to protect your bonds with important family and friends. What? Um. Okay, well, basically it's like this. On the left hand side, you get superpowers. On the right hand side, you're just like extremely like intelligent. Like you got the best, the best word game like in the world. Like every whoever your friend, bro. Like you could like. I don't even know, bro. Like, you could do something terrible to your best friend, but like, you could talk your way out of it and be like, you know what? It's my fault. It's my fault that my girlfriend cheated on me with you. It's my fault. And then you'll be like, yeah, we're still freaking best friends. <laughs> or, or you could have like Rasengan, come out me high. Like, I'm getting superpowers, bro. That's just me, bro. That's that's just me, bro. I knew, I knew, bro. If, but that, that's just people that watch Naruto, bro. They on some. Talk no jutsu. Da, 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 da. They don't understand the question, bro. It, would y'all rather superpowers or have best friends forever, bro? Because I feel like if you don't got friends that's really your friends already, bro, like, what the freak? You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like I feel like the friends I have, I don't need a special talking power to keep them as friends. And I know I'm not a bad person, so I'm not about to do nothing to where they wouldn't want to be my friend. You know what I'm saying? So I'm taking superpowers, bro. That's just me, though. That's just me, though. All right, anyway. On to what's been entrusted. A little more about Asuma. As Naruto tangled with Kakuzu in battle, Shikamaru took on Hidan by himself. This was crazy, bro. Valiantly fighting a losing battle, it looked as if Shikamaru was trapped in a corner by the immortal Hidan, but it was all a part of his plan. Shikamaru had thoroughly analyzed the information imparted by Asuma with his dying breath, and he devised the strategy to defeat the enemy. This is like his family's woods or something? Then after luring Hidan to a trap he had set in advance, he sealed him deep within the earth. After successfully avenging Asuma, Shikamaru pressed forward with the will of fire entrusted to him by his teacher burning deep inside him. You know, that's his ultimate jutsu, by the way. He literally trapped you like he trapped freaking Hidan. This is, this is freaking ultimate on this game. And then he pulls out Asuma's lighter and throws it and with the paper bomb and you blow up. He's like, that's your grave. Like, bruh, I don't know. I felt like it was kind of lazy. I'm so mad. When will we get all S ranks? When will that happen, guys? I don't freaking know. It's like something always happens. There's always that one fight or multiple fights. Bro, okay, so it looks like almost, or well, no. Okay, I was going to say it looks like every single uh, thing is going to be a fight, but I guess not. But <laughs> chapter four is probably going to get heated, bro. But, uh, you know, chapter three was fire, bro. Once again, thank you to everybody that pulled up to the video. As per usual, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.